The other week, I received an email from my YouTube account by some random person wanting to know exactly how I set up my Samsung C01U condenser microphone to get the best effect. And truth be told, I've been getting quite a few emails and comments asking a similar kind of question. Well, besides the obvious question of, what's wrong with your eyes? So I decided to create a quick video to show everyone my setup that I do for my video blogs. How I set up my Samsung C01U condenser microphone. I'm not saying that this is the right way. I'm just saying this is the way that works for me. If you happen to know a better way of setting up my condenser microphone to get the best out of it, then please send an email or write a comment down below because I'd be interested in knowing. And I'll be explaining everything and showing you everything through the magic of my crappy little digital camera. So there. Right. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so. What we have here is my condenser microphone. It's already plugged into the PC for a USB port and we have a green light, so everything is ready to go. Now this is the usual tripod system I have. I know you can get like those special cradles which keep everything together and uh, you can also use one of these uh, popping protector poppy thingies. Uh, but I don't bother with that because for me, the quality that I get is sufficient for my needs. So then, if we move on to the computer and oh who's that handsome guy over there hey there as you can see I use um, the software Logitech Quick Webcam software that comes with the Logitech Quick Cam Pro 9000 and so uh, we'll just minimize that for a second and you should be able to find drivers through Windows XP which is the operating system I'm using to install the, the drivers for this ca uh, condenser microphone if not then you should be able to find the drivers which came with the CD. Um, to actually set the volume of the device, I use the sound and audio device properties which is found in control panels. Go to the voice section, choose the device as the Samsung C01U and just modify the volume as you need. I mentioned in my last video that I uh, use the soft free software that came with the Samsung website. They've just continued that, so you don't need to download that anymore because, according to them, the plug and play capabilities of the operating system is sufficient for your needs, and I believe it to be true. So, we go into Audacity, open that bad boy up, and we're ready to actually do a recording. One thing to check is if you go to Preferences, and you can check the audio input output. output and make sure this is set to Samsung Z01U and the most important thing I found is to set it to mono not stereo because when recording in stereo using this device what you actually get is or I can actually show you this what you actually see is um, a great misjudging of the levels so one side is louder than the other and this is, I find that setting it to mono gets rid of this problem and having it in mono is more than enough for my needs for recording. So put this back to mono. So my typical recording setup is go to the quick cam, start recording, and then start recording through here. And as you can see it's working as expected. So then once I'm finished with all my recordings, I stop the recording here and I stop it here. I make sure I'm happy with the current recording I did and then I export the whole WAV file as uh, WAV, the sound as a WAV file because I want to have this file in its most rawest and most widely capable format and then once I've got those two sound, uh, once I've got the two files ready, the audio and the video I then use a software, an editing software, to video edit the whole thing. In my case, it is Super Lilosoft, Liloscope, Super Liloscope. That's the one, Grax. So um, that's pretty much how I set my entire vlogging setup. I hope this helps you out. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, then please email me or leave a comment down below.